Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are. Welcome to Verbling. It is really nice to be back after like a nice four day break. Um, and we are going to kick start this week. It's not really the start of the week, it's Wednesday. It's the start of the week for me because it's my first class this week. And we are going to kick start this week with a read a two hour reading class on naming babies around the world. And right now in the chat we have with us Norbert. Hi Norbert. Hello. How are you? I'm very well. What about you? That's, I am good. I'm happy and I'm well rested and I'm well traveled and I feel good. <laughs> uh, so I can see that this class is actually, uh, there, ha there were quite a few reservations. So for all the students who made reservations, now is the time to join now. Otherwise, after two minutes, you guys will lose your reservation and the spots will open up for everybody else. Okay, so we have Victor. Hi, Victor. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Fine, fine, thanks. That, that's awesome. I can, can I, Norbert, can you hear my echo? Uh, like, yes, I can. Yes, I, I don't know. Uh, who is that? Victor, is that you? I'm going to mute you and I'm going to see if, that's, if that's, that's you, Victor. There is an echo coming from your uh, microphone. So, um, Either your your headphones are, are not yeah so we can hear ourselves so you just unmuted yourself we can hear that okay uh, we also have with us Sefa hi Sefa unmute 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 okay Sefa's like give me a minute and Patty uh oh we got hi, two Gina. hi we got two BFFs across the world from each other and in my class do you guys know what a BFF is BFF no? Best friend forever. Bingo! So we got two biffs in class, miles apart, and in my class. I feel good. I feel awesome. Okay, Sefa, hi, how are you? Thanks, I'm fine. Are you? I'm fine too. As, uh, are you new on Verbling? Is this your first class or one of the first few? This is my first uh, class for you. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So welcome. Really nice to have you join us. Uh, and we have a couple of familiar faces. We have Rod. Okay. We have we have the always in the dark Furkan. Ooh. <laughs> no, never going to turn my light on <laughs> lest anybody sees me. <laughs> uh, we have Jarno. Jarno changed his picture. And we have Blanca. Hi, guys. Hi. It's so nice. It's so nice to see you all. For all those who don't know, it was my birthday this past weekend, and I celebrated it in, in grand style. I took a trip of a lifetime, and now I'm happy, and I'm back, and I'm excited to get classes started. Okay, so it looks like people are still coming in and settling down. Yuri, nice to see you back, Yuri. I, you're not in class. I hope that changes next time. Is everybody's verbling chat working? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because uh, because uh, there are a couple of uh, issues, and we have Emad as well. Emad, welcome. Nice to have you. Okay, so um, let's see. Uh, Victor, I I'm gonna. Okay, so this this time it's not Victor. This time it's Blanca. All right, or somebody else. I can't. I'm not too sure, but there is an echo coming from uh, someone's microphone. So Seifa, it could be you. Oh, it's not Victor. It's like Nami. The, don't look at me. Don't point no fingers at me. It wasn't me. Okay. So it's not Victor. Uh, Seifa, it could be you. Um, so if everybody could please keep themselves muted when they're not talking, that would be great because right now I, I know that someone's not there. You guys aren't muted and there's like a very distracting noise, people typing. So Seifa, that's, that's definitely you. Okay, Seifa. Don't, don't unmute yourself, okay? Just unmute yourself when you want to talk or if you want to say something or if you can reduce the noise somehow, then you're free, free to unmute yourself. But for other than that, it's just, just very noisy from your microphone, okay? Um, so welcome, everyone. Nice to see you guys again. Today's class is a two-hour class. So uh, this hour and the next hour, we are going to be reading an article from Pocket Cultures called Naming Children Traditions in 13 Different Countries. 
So apparently naming kids is not a universal uh, tradition. People name their kids differently based on where they live, what their tradition is, what their cultures are. So we're going to be reading an article. Um, everybody will get an opportunity to read. Um, we'll work on your pronunciation, your pace. Um, there's going to be some new vocabulary that we're going to be covering. So while we're doing all of that, you guys are more than welcome to ask questions. If, some, if something is unclear, if you don't know what a word means, if you don't know what a uh, phrase means, Seifa, I did, I muted you because it was very noisy. All right. So, so he's like, he's complaining. He's like, guys, you muted me, man. So I did mute you because it was very noisy. But if you can reduce the noise, um, then you can unmute yourself. Or you guys are more than welcome to unmute yourselves when they're, um, when uh, you have something to say or you have a question. When it's your turn to read, definitely I won't mute you. When it's your turn to read, all right. Uh, Sorry, so like I said, yeah. Uh, I wanted to show you something on Monday. But I couldn't, so I'm gonna show it now. Okay, uh, guys, I'm, Norbert, Norbert has something to share. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Norbert up on the screen so everybody I'm, can see. No, no, no. I will post the link into the chat box. Okay, all right. I know we're on the screen it's, share. It's a video. It's about four minutes long, and I would like that you will uh, watch it in the in the class. We watch it in class. Okay, so no, Norbert, no, just me. Uh, everybody <laughs> can see it in. Okay. In the uh, screen. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, let's do I that. I don't want to tell anything about it. You will okay. see. Okay, so guys, Norbert has a surprise. Your surprises are always like, oh my goodness, everybody's surprises are, oh, there's a surprise, what is it? Okay, so let's see. I am going to, I'm going and to, I, I'm watch going it to, in full screen. I, uh, yeah, I'm going to watch it in full screen and I'm going to, I'm actually going to share. Um, can I screen share? Can no, I screen no, share? No, 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 no. Okay, all right. Just so watch. Everybody, okay, everybody, we're gonna watch the video. Norbert posted it. We're all watching it right now.
Don't cry, Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are so bad. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god, say something. It's so weird. It's quiet. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much. I'm so touched. So... Oh my god. Oh, I should like totally, I should totally like turn my camera off. <laughs> 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 I turned my camera off. That's right. Oh, my makeup is running. Uh, thank you so much, you guys. Uh, I I saw so many familiar faces I see in class, and I know some people um, are in my class, so that I can't like um, know everybody. But thank you so much. It was really nice. And uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay who put this together thank you thank you to all you guys Hi. who put it together thank you so much Norbert um yeah camera is off that's right you guys can see <laughs> you guys can't see teachers crying that's like oh now you know what you look like crying <laughs> thank, oh, Happy thank you so much I'm so I'm so touched I, I have no words to to thank you guys. It, that was really sweet and ah, thank you so much. I don't know what to say. <laughs> All the new students are like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All the new students are like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Oh, who's that girl? <laughs> yeah, who's this lady? Like, why is she crying? <laughs> Teach us English. <laughs> that's right. crying in English, yeah. That's crying. It's crying in English. That's right. This is what this is what crying in English looks like. Okay, so when you yeah. guys cry in English, this is what it's going to look like. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Um, I I want to I want to share this with like everybody I know. It's 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 amazing. Um, and I'm I'm very touched. Thank you guys. All right. So uh, now that I'm done crying, <laughs> let <laughs> us get started with our class today. So our class today is another article from Pocket Cultures, and it comes to us from people from diff 13 different countries. And we're going to be reading about how children, baby names, come from, uh, where they come from in all these different countries. All right. Um, I want to start by quickly uh, going through introductions. So if everybody could introduce themselves, so this should be a fun. This, let's let's do a fun activity. So let's say our name. Let's say where we're from, and let's say what our name means in our language. Okay, because today we're reading an article about baby names, so it'd be really cool to uh, to know what our names mean in our own languages. All right, so I'll start. Welcome everyone. Welcome for that very heartwarming welcome back to me. Um, I'm from Canada. I mean, my name is Henna. I'm your teacher. Uh, right now, I'm in San Francisco. And my name is actually um, a South Asian name. And it means, has, any, has anybody heard of Hina? Hina? I'm writing it in Berlin chat. He, no. no. He, that's like, do you guys can you see when Indian people put like this, uh, this design on their hands? Has anybody ever seen that? Is that Henna? Ah, OK. Yeah, exactly. That's, exactly. That's Ah, okay, yeah, I know it, yeah, okay. Yeah, so my name is actually, it actually comes from from, from that. So Hena, Hina, um. a lot of people pronounce it differently. So my name is a derivation of Hina. So there you go, that's what my name means. So let's start with Abdullah. Um, hi, guys, hi, Hina. Um, I live in Germany. I am originally from Turkey, but I was born and grew up in Germany. And my name is, is an Arabic name, and it means the servant of God. 
The servant of God. Okay, yeah. wow. And is it um, is it traditional or is it religious? Um, it's religious, more more religious than traditional. So yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Abdullah. Uh, next, <laughs> next we have Patty. Hello. Okay, my name is Patty. I'm from Colombia, and and my name. Uh, well, my father wanted to to name it like his father, Abadia. Mm -hmm. That means uh, I don't know, Abi in English. Mm -hmm. Then my mom uh, woke up and Abadia. No, 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 no. Better body. It's shorter. And I haven't found another body. Oh, uh, so what is so what is Abadia? It means Abbey, like uh, yeah. like Abbey Road. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's something like a, a kingdom, a, a castle, something like that. Yeah, it's like it's like a small chapel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you so much, Betty. And uh, next we have Blanca. Hi, Hina. Um, my name is, I think, as far as I know, is German. Mm -hmm. It means um, pure, clean, something like that. In Spanish, it's, uh, in English, I mean, it's a color, white. If you, you say white, it's similar to Blanca. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Uh, Nuit Blanche, yeah. So, Blanche in French means white as well. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Some of my friends even call me Whitey. Yeah. <laughs> Blanche. <laughs> in, in, in French, it's pronounced a little different. So, Whitey. So, that's it. We're, we're calling Blanca Whitey in class today. Okay. So, <laughs> thank, you, <laughs> thank you, Whitey. <laughs> next, okay. <laughs> next, we have Diego. Diego, can you hear us? Hello, everybody. Hello, teacher. Hi. I'm Diego. I'm from Heredia, Costa Rica. And Diego is a derivation of. Santiago, mm -hmm. and that name comes from Greece. And in, I don't know if, if there is a, another meaning in this country, but it, it's like um, like cool people, like relaxed, quiet persons who. Take life that, easy and chill on name, the beat. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. So your name is uh is it represents life in Chile, Santiago. Just I'm um, chill. I'm gonna hang out. That's awesome. Thanks, Diego. There's a couple of names in English like that as well. Um, uh, Elizabeth. Has everybody heard of that name in English? Yes, Elizabeth. My yeah. Mother's, my your mother's, mother's name. Is, that's awesome. So is there is there a shorter is there a shorter way that she says her name here in North mm -hmm. America? Yeah. Is there? Yes, but it's Hungarian, so I don't know what is it in English. Okay, okay. so because in English, a lot of women who are named Elizabeth, they become Beth. So the same thing is Santiago, Diego. So you just take like a part of the part of the name, and then uh, you you know just use that. Perfect. Thank you so much, Diego. Uh, next, we have Ferrana. Uh, yes. So my name is uh, Magda. I'm from Poland, and in fact, I don't know what my name means exactly. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, how about at the end of the class you decide what it means? So you're like, I have decided my name means this. <laughs> <laughs> this is my name and this is what it means. <laughs> Thank you, Farana. Is this your first time in um, on Verbling or in my class? No, no, no. Yeah, your, jelly, your jellyfish like picture looks very familiar. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much, Farana. Uh, next we have Jarno. Hi, I'm I'm Jarno from Finland, and Hina, yes. it was nice to see you're crying. Oh it's not a bad thing. It's not a <laughs> bad thing, really. So tears, tears of joy. Really. Tears of it's, joy. It's That's really, true. It's really, it's really lovely. You guys, uh, you guys, you guys <laughs> were so sweet. How could I was just like like when I was watching the video, I was like, I'm on camera. I have to like make sure no one sees me. <laughs> That's why I showed it. <laughs> you guys yeah. are bad. You're like, let's, let's get our teacher to cry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, let's get our teacher to cry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it was a, oh, yeah. About my name. Uh, mm -hmm. My name, It. I think it comes from um, Greek and mm -hmm. it means um, like Jeremias or something, something like that. Rising, okay. rising up. Jeremia. Jeremias. Oh, okay. Raising up. All right. Perfect. Yeah, um, something like that. Yeah. On Facebook, your name is Jarp. Is that your nickname? 
Yeah, it's kind of you know, it's sharp finish. It's just my you know fake profile for for you know my learners. For your for your English. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> I was confused. I was like, oh, I'm not sure if it's Jar or Jino. <laughs> That's Jino. Yeah. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much, Jino. You're uh, welcome. Next, we have Norbert. Hi, I am Norbert from Hungary, and I, I had no idea what what means my name, but I googled it. And it's, Norbert, uh, it means... I know what Norbert means. Norbert means the pianist, the piano player. That's what Norbert means, right, guys? <laughs> Agree with me. Agree with me. Norbert. Norbert means someone who plays the piano. <laughs> so Norbert's gonna find out what his name means and Google it for us. Thanks, well, it's Norbert. also a German name, Norbert. Yeah, Norbert. Yeah, and it's Northern Brightness, something like that. Northern Brightness. Okay. I, Northern I brightness. wrote it into the chat box. Yeah, it's Northern Brightness. Okay, so probably like Northern Lights. Awesome. Thank you, Norbert. Uh, next, we have Raheem. Raheem just got here, so I'll get back to him in a bit. Victor, why don't you go introduce yourself? Uh, hello, my uh, name yeah. oh. Sorry, go, uh, wait a minute, Raheem. Uh, Victor, go yeah. ahead, Victor. Yeah. Okay, my name is Victor. I'm from Spain, and my name is original from Germany, and means... Uh, uh, victory. Means victory. Yeah, yeah. victory, yeah. victory. Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like that's a no-brainer. <laughs> Thank you, Victor. And lastly, you're we have welcome. Raheem. <laughs> lastly, we have Raheem. Raheem, why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us where you're from and what does your name mean? Okay, my name is Raheem. I am from Turkey. Uh, my name is originally is an Arabic name, mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's mean uh, it's a name of God. Name of God. Okay, yeah. perfect. Um, and we have Anastasia in the chat. She says her name means reborn. Has everybody seen that cartoon Anastasia? Disney cartoon? I, I, can, mm -hmm. I can see Anastasia, Anastasia meaning reborn. Okay, perfect. So welcome everyone. You guys have such unique names and they mean such uh, different things in all your uh, cultures and languages. So we're going to read an article today and learn uh, how people actually come up with children name and how they decide to name their child. So does everybody have the link to the article that I that I posted? Yes. Yeah? I, lucky. Yep. Oh, yeah. Anastasia just got lucky. Welcome, Anastasia. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> Hi. Happy you, thank you so much. Your, your voice is really low, but thank you so much, and I'm so glad you were able to come into class. Uh-huh. Now it's better? Yeah, yeah that, that's perfect. Okay. So, Anastasia, why don't you tell us a little quickly a little bit about your name? Uh, well, uh, it means like reborn from Greek, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm from Kazakhstan, and I'm okay. Russian. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> like, I cannot be more multicultural than that. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so let's see. Thanks, Anastasia. Uh, and I posted mm -hmm. the link in the Verbling chat. So if you wanna, if you wanna open that, that is the document that we are going to be reading in class today. So naming children tradition in thirteen different countries. Before we begin, what is a what is a tradition? Swear tradition. It's a habit. A habit, yeah, a habit or a custom. Okay, a custom is basically uh, accepted uh, in in a country. Accepted. So people uh, who like, oh, this is what we do in our country. So a tradition of how you name your children is an accepted way of naming your children. So a custom is basically an accepted method of doing something. Right? So we're going to learn about the tradition of naming children, so the accepted uh, procedure, if you will, of how people name their kids. All right, I'm just going to say that you guys don't have to read from my screen. You can read from your own screens. Um, you don't have to read from my icon. I'm just sharing the screen so everybody who is uh, who is watching class knows where we are. Um, and I'm just going to ask you guys to keep yourselves muted when you're not when you're not talking. Because otherwise, what people who are reading might have some problems. Okay, so let's start. Let's start with our victorious student, Victor. Okay. Can I get you to read this first this first section, Victor, please? Okay, naming children traditions in thirteen different countries. How are children's names chosen in your country? Do you chosen. follow ancient names? Victor, this word is chosen. Cho. Chosen, chosen in your country. Mm -hmm. Do you follow ancient naming traditions or are modern names more popular? Do you pass names down through family generations or even new ones? 
Perfect. So, Victor, I'm just going to say this word is ancient. Do you follow ancient naming? Ancient. Ancient. Perfect. Yes. So, the C-I makes an H sound. Ancient. 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 Yes. Perfect. Okay. You can continue okay. reading if you want. Yeah. Okay. We had a lot of fun writing this post and the subject of how children are named in our various countries has inspired a lot of discussion within our team of contributors. So read on to find out how children's names are chosen yes. in Argentina, Brazil, Canada, Costa Rica, India, Indonesia, Nigeria, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Spain, Turkey, and the USA. Okay, I'm just going to say the country is Nigeria. Na so there's almost like the I is a Y. Nigeria. Nigeria, okay. Nigeria, perfect, yeah. And you want to hmm. read off the last sentence and then we can take it off? Okay, okay. Have something to add? We'd love to hear, to hear your thoughts in the comments. Perfect. Thank you so much, Victor. You're okay, so yeah, I'm just going to ask, I'm just going to mute you when you're not talking just because there's an echo. I'm not saying that you shouldn't talk. If you have a question, just unmute yourself, okay? Okay. So uh, what questions do you guys have about these two a couple of paragraphs? Are there any words or any phrases that you guys don't know? Okay. Pass names down. This is an expression. What does this mean? Pass them down. Um, to give uh, to give it to another person. Yes, and to give it to another person in order to continue it, right? Yeah. So, for example, a mother passes down her recipes to her daughter. Recipes for cooking food. Okay. So when you yeah. give something to Edit. someone, yeah. Go ahead, Victor. Heritage, no? He it's your heritage. Yeah, exactly. Your heritage has been passed down to you. Yeah, heritage. So, like, basically what your roots are, what your origins are. So, to pass something down is to give it to someone with the intention that that person will continue it forward. Okay? This is how, this is how families, uh, they pass down traditions, they pass down recipes, they pass down names. Okay? What else? What other words? Ancient. To follow ancient naming traditions. What does ancient mean? Old. Uh, old, old, yeah. Very, yeah. very old. Exactly. Yeah. Okay? Um... Antique, exactly. Antique is a physical is a physical adjective. So, for example, when something is antique, it's like a vase. It's antique, like plates. They are antique. Okay. Uh, okay. Ancient when is something is very old. Like for example, ancient times. Okay. So uh, it's like not it's more not, abstract mm -hmm. ideas. Yeah? Exactly. Something more abstract, not not like physical. That oh, here here is like here's here's a bowl and it's an antique. It, it can be an ancient bowl, but the physical form is an antique. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, gotcha. Yeah, perfect. Um, inspired. What does it mean to be inspired? So, uh, yeah. To be influenced by something? Yeah, to be influenced by something by, to do... By, mm -hmm. by a it's a, in a positive way, not in a negative way. Yeah, a positive um, influence. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. To give... Uh, inspiration or just get motivation to do your best exactly so to have inspiration to be inspired is to want to do better or to want to do your best okay so for example we say oh my mother inspires me so my mother makes me want to be a better person it's basically what you're saying okay and we're going to be hopefully we'll be able to read through this article. I've scheduled a two hour class, so we'll be able to get through all of these countries. Okay. And I'd love to share and I'd love it if you guys shared your own experiences. So if you read something in one of the articles and you're like, oh, this is how it's done in our country or it's very different from our country, I'd love to hear your opinions. So don't be afraid to 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 share. Okay? So let's start off with Argentina. Raheem. Okay. Can I get you to read Argentina? So I'll get you to read these two paragraphs. In Argentina today, <clears throat> nowadays, in the past, firstborn babies were named oh, after no, no, the... No, 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 no. What are you, what are you reading? There are many... So, 
there aren't many clear-cut naming traditions. Argentina. Raheem, yeah. can you can you see my screen? Yeah. So it's yeah. right under Argentina. This this section. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can start. Yeah, go ahead. There aren't many clear-cut naming traditions in Argentina nowadays. In the past, first-born babies were named after their parents, but now the focus is on distinct distinctness. Din dist okay, okay, all right. So press break. Distinctiveness. Distinct. Distinctiveness. Evness. Ev. Evness. Distinctiveness. Yes. Parents choose a name they like or they are fashionable. For example, when Argentinian born, Maxima uh, Zorigeta married, Crown married. Prince married, married, married. Crown Prince uh, Wilhelm Alexander of Netherlands, the name Maxima be become very popular. Became. became. Yes. Yeah, became very popular. It is not very common to name ch uh, children after historical, political, or sports celebrates nowadays. However, there are uh, a few older Juan Dominos and Juan, Juan. Juan, yeah. Juan Dominos and I uh, and Iwas, uh, or Diego's. Perfect. Thank you so much, Rahim. Okay, so in Argentina, you can have a mix of different names. Right. So what uh, what words or what uh, expressions in this? this Distinctiveness. Distinctiveness. Yeah, distinctiveness. Okay. Does everybody know what it means to be distinct? Recognizable. Recognizable? Basically to be different. Okay. So for example, when you say there are 12 distinct species of dogs, there's more than that, but I'm just giving an example. So 12 distinct species would mean that there are 12 different species of dogs. So what do you guys think distinctiveness means? Types. Yeah, types. So for a uh, unique. Okay? Unique, yeah. Exactly. Different so the, from another. Exactly. So in the past, firstborn babies were named after their parents. But now the focus is on distinctiveness. So now the focus is to name your children very differently from how other people are named. So you want your child to have a very unique, a very distinct, a distinct, a very different name from everyone else. So that is distinctiveness, the ability to be different. Okay? Is that clear? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. So, for example, let's look at the example. Argentinian-born Maxima Zorigeta married Crown Prince Wilmer Alexander of the Netherlands, and the name Maxima became very popular. Okay? So parents choose names they like or that are fashionable. Okay? Fashionable. What's another way of saying fashionable? Very popular. Mm -hmm. Very popular. Stylish, fancy. Stylish. Very cool. Very cool. That's a good way of saying it. Yeah. So very popular, very fashionable. So Maxima, uh, she married a prince, and then Maxima became a really popular name. Okay. So in Argentina, it's not common to name children after historical, political, or sports celebrities. Okay. Is it common to name to name children after after somebody popular in your countries? Like. Yeah. Yeah, Raheem. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. For example, so, uh, we have a uh, footballer named Arda, and mm -hmm. uh, all newborn babies names uh, Arda now, <laughs> nowadays. Oh, okay. And where does the uh, sorry? And where does this name come from? Who is? So Arda. who is the po Arda? Yeah. So who is this person? Arda. Is this a popular? Arda, Arda is a very popular footballer. Uh, and he played. Uh, he play. He is playing uh, Atletico Madrid. Okay, all right. So he's a he's a sports celebrity. Okay, perfect. Thank yeah. you, Raheem. And what about you, Jarno? Um, like uh, me, um, my mother named me after uh, this uh, motor biker. Who motor was, biker. Okay. Who was so popular in seventies? Oh, so, okay. So, did, so. She, did she have a crush on him? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, so, I couldn't, so, I couldn't marry Jarno, but I'm going to name my son Jarno. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Jarno. And also, yeah. also uh, early in the '90s, uh, when uh, the bold and the beautiful became so famous here in Finland, mm -hmm. so um, 
we started to notice that um, Brooke and Brits, Brit, Rich, uh, you know, the newborn babies was named after after these characters after from this. Character. Okay, from yeah. the soap opera. We know yeah, the soap, soap opera. opera. Yeah, soap opera. Okay, so Bold and the Beautiful is a very very popular soap opera in like in the world. Basically, a lot of older generation watches it, and I think it's still I think it's still being filmed. I think it's still going on. All right, but, uh, so, uh, so still alive. Still alive. I don't know. It's like almost. It's, I think more than twenty years old. So it's called The Bold and the Beautiful. So for all those who'd like to check it out, that's the name, The Bold and the Beautiful. Okay. Thanks, Jarno. And we just have David who joined us. Hi, David. Welcome to class. I hope you have the link. Uh, no problem. I can read uh, your screen perfectly. No, no, David. I'm going to post it. There we go. I, I have problems with Berwin chat. If you put in the other, please. Okay. I'll put it in Google chat. There we go. Thank you. Okay, for all those. Oh, welcome. Okay. So perfect. Uh, let's continue on Norbert. I'll get you to read all the way to the end. So actually, just let's mm -hmm. ju let's just read these two paragraphs. Yeah. It's from most people. Yeah. Okay. Most people have a first and mid middle name, not more than that. Traditional first names for women uh, women are Anna and Maria, followed by a middle name, as in Anna Karina or Maria Ines. Mm -hmm. For men, it's generally for, Juan yeah, or for men. For men, for men, it's generally Juan or Jose, as in uh, Juan Martin, my brother, or uh, Jose Luis. Don't know him. <laughs> In the past, married women, uh, women had to take their husband's name, but the law changed, and now they are free to continue using their middle, uh, maiden name, and have the option to add his name to hers. Uh, the full name of a married woman, uh, woman, woman would be, yes. yeah, would be given name, maiden name, the husband's name. Mm -hmm. Thus, uh, this my full name is uh, Anna Karina Astrid Orili. Mm -hmm. uh, the preposition there means of, as is I belong to my husband. Personally, I don't like to be treated as a chattel. 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 Shadow. Perfect. Thank Shadow. you, Norbert. So, is this is this common in your countries that when a woman gets married, she takes the man's last name? In my yeah, country. In my country. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry? In, in yeah, in Mexico, Germany, in Hungary. Okay. Yeah, it's common. Yeah, in Turkey too. In Turkey, in Turkey. too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it is it is it like is it anybody in class? Is it like not common in your countries that when a woman gets married, she takes the man's name? Okay. Well, it depends on a woman. Yeah, does she have the choice too? Yes, if she, she wants, does? she will. Yeah, she can. Uh, she she may not take uh, their last name of her husband, but uh, usually uh, they just take husband's last names. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. The vi the women in Germany can decide too if they want to. Take their maiden name or take the their um, husband's uh, last name. Oh, okay, so they have they have the choice. All right. Yeah. Does everybody know? Does everybody know what a maiden name is? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Your yeah. birth, a birth name. For a woman, it is only applicable for a woman. Maiden name is only applicable for a woman because when a woman gets married, it's very common that she takes her husband's last name. So her old name, her old last name is now her maiden name. So for example, my name, my first name is Henna and my last name is Henna Hussein. Hussein is my last is my maiden name. If I was to marry somebody uh, whose last name was for example, let's say Warang, okay? So I would become Henna Warang. Okay? So then Henna Hussein would be my maiden name. Okay, mm -hmm. and this is all, and this is only for a woman because a man doesn't change his name when he gets married, or at least not that I have heard of. <laughs> it could be possible, but it doesn't really happen. Raheem, did you have a question? Uh, you mm. know, it's discrimination. My <laughs> guys don't take women's last name. Yeah, they should and, do that. Uh, and uh, Raheem, what did you say? Uh, no, I don't say anti. Uh, 
Okay. All right. So this is saying that in Argentina, a lot of women they keep their maiden name and then just put the husband's last name with, with their name, right? So for example, if I decided to keep my last name, I would be Hina Hussein Dewaran. Okay. So they is means basically what does they mean? What? What does they mean? So when I say yeah, off. So basically, I am saying that I am Hina Hussein and I belong to Warang. So, <laughs> property. Does anybody understand the concept of property? I am property of this person named Warang. And I, I, think, I think that's pretty sexist. Everybody knows what sexist is? Does anybody yeah. know what sexist Yeah, what does it mean? It's, it's basically, uh, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not like um, equal. I don't know how to explain. Yeah, so you're uh, basically you're saying a woman is not equal to a man. Like she is the yes, property exactly. of another man. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So this woman is saying that she doesn't like the fact that, you know, her last name has to be the with her husband. But she has the choice. She doesn't have to do it. So that's, uh, that's I actually was really surprised when I read this because I didn't know that it worked like that in, uh, in Argentina. Okay. What questions do you guys have about these paragraphs? Any words that you don't know? Given name, maiden name, the husband's name. All right. Does anybody have more than two names? <laughs> like, do you have first name, middle name, and last name? Does anybody like that? Anybody like that? Yeah, I am. Yeah. What's I your, have, what, what's your, what, my name is Victor. Uh, the middle name is Alemán. Okay, mm -hmm. and the last name is Girabert. Victor okay. Alemán Girabert. Oh. In Spain, we have we have mm -hmm. two. Uh, uh, two last names. Two last names. Okay. Um, uh, over yeah. here in North America, if a woman wants to get married and she wants to keep her name and her husband's last name, this is how she would do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just just like uh, in Argentina, you have I'd have Hina Hussain de Warang, but in here I'd become Hina Hussain dash Warang. Okay, so this dash should mean that Hussein is my maiden name, and I'm I'm joining it with my husband's last name. Okay, so mm -hmm. we, I guess we have that here as well, but we don't say they were on. We don't say I'm property of someone. Okay, perfect. <laughs> uh, if, and I guess if there's no other questions, let's move on. I know. Can I? Oh, any questions about about the second paragraph? Any words that you guys don't know? No. No. Everybody knows what a shuttle is. No. No? Okay. <laughs> chattel? A chattel is basically another way of saying slave. Everybody knows what a slave is, right? No. Okay. So, a no, slave. I'm just okay. kidding. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. A slave is somebody who basically who is bound to someone who works for someone else. All right? Uh, so it's the property of that person. So this, this woman is saying, personally, I don't like to be treated as a chattel. So I don't like to be treated as a slave. So she doesn't like this convention. Okay, convention. Everybody knows what convention is? Convention. Writing it there. A convention is basically uh, a, an established rule of a way to do something. So the convention of a woman's last name. So the convention is that a woman's last name changes when she gets married. So that is the accepted rule. That is what happens uh, when you know a, an event takes place. So a convention, an accepted rule. Okay. If there's, I think that was the only word that'd be tricky. So, Jarno, can I get you to read the last paragraph? Okay. Um, uh, there also used to be rules for naming children. Uh, one such rule was that the name had to be a Spanish one. If parents wanted to choose a name in a different language, they had to request permission but it's different now, although there are still some rules in place that protect children by stopping their parents from using names that may affect the child socially later in life. Socially. Socially, Social, yeah. Socially, perfect. Social. Awesome. So what kind of names do you think those are that affect people negatively in their social life if their parents name them that? Does anybody, does anybody have any examples? Um, for example, if you name your child after a dictator, for example, or a dic dictator. dictator, dictator, yeah, yeah, okay. 
Yeah, for I example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be causing problems maybe in the future, maybe. It'll be, yeah, exactly. You don't even have to be named after a dictator. Like, for example, my last name is Hussein. Does that ring yeah. bells for anybody? Does that ring, is that like, yeah. ooh? Yeah? Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein. Mm. Exactly, exactly. What about Obama? Obama? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what, yeah. what, what, yeah? Hussein so, Barack Obama. Yes, exactly. That's the president, right? When he was uh, when he was up for presidency, people said his name sounded too much like Osama. <laughs> uh, so I mean, there's no way to like know that these names are going to become you know negative connotations in the future. But a few years ago, does everybody remember the uh, the riots that happened in Egypt? Yes. There were yeah they they shut yeah. like the government shut down the internet. Um, so basically, what one person did was he named his daughter Facebook. Yeah, named, I read it. Yeah. yeah. What do I you think it. is going to happen when this girl grow, grows up? Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to hate her parents. She's going to hate her parents, basically. All right? So what happened was what happened Facebook kind of helped Egypt come out of that uh, that that time in their history where it was every like the government shut down internet and they had no way of reaching out to the world so facebook did something i'm not too sure and this guy was so proud he was so happy that facebook helped that he named his daughter facebook okay <laughs> would any of you would any of you name your son google <laughs> <laughs> maybe. maybe in the future uh, or maybe in the future who knows right yeah. but so these, hey, these, I, I know uh, I know, mm -hmm. I know a guy uh, whose last names were um, Bernabe, Bernabe, and uh, Bernabe, <laughs> yeah. Bernabe, and his parents um, put him uh, uh, for name Bernabe also. So his name complete was Bernabe, Bernabe, Bernabe. That is, you, that, you, you know what that is? That's torture. That's torture. This is how people, this is how yeah. people go insane. Does anybody know what insane means? Yeah, it's going crazy. crazy. It's going crazy. Yeah. This, go this is how you go crazy. Bananas. Exactly. So this is how you go insane. So what's your name? Bernabe. What's your last name? Bernabe. <laughs> Wait, do you have another name? Bernabe. It's like, okay, you clearly need to go to a hospital, buddy. <laughs> so that's, this is how people go crazy. I will right, call so, my children Verbling. Verbling? Exactly. Yeah. It's like, oh, Verbling, Ver Verbling helped me so much. You guys are named Verbling. And then, like, when they're 18, they're like, Mom, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, what does Verbling mean? Ooh, that's a good question. So, Verb and Ling. Okay, so it's, it's a, it's it's a verbal, combination. Verbal and oh. Verb and Ling. Verb and Ling. Yeah, linguistic. Ling? Yeah. Ah, linguistic. linguistic. Yeah, gotcha. you can tell me what linguistic means. Uh, Blood, you know what link? Can you tell um, me? Linguistic thing? is, um, let's the say, science the science study. of languages. Yeah. Related with language. languages. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. verb link would be linguistics of a verb. All right. So, verb, everybody knows that the word verb is an action word, right? Mm -hmm. So, verb link is a combination of two, two separate verbs. You can see it. The verb is yellow and the link is white. So, that kind of yes. is like, oh, it's two separate words. Yeah, Perfect. because like. I have this question in my, this question sucks in my head all the mm -hmm. time. What is verbling? Why? Like, Why is it verbling? I'm going crazy. Yeah. So now you know. <laughs> it means. Yeah, now I know. Yeah. It means verb linguistics. Okay. So uh, you're welcome. So one rule in, uh, so in Argentina, the names had to be Spanish. So I guess, Victor, your friend, his parents only knew one Spanish name or one name from their culture and they're like, must name him over and over the same thing. So, I mean, people have all sorts of weird rules. So, uh, that's really strange. If you have to choose a name in a different language, you have to request permission. But it's different now. And, uh, but there are still some people who name their children really strange things like Facebook. There is a, there's a person named Apple that I know. So that's very, very strange. And it's a girl. Um, so her mother actually named her Apple in like the 80s, right? So she was born in 1985. And this is like before Apple became big. So she actually named her Apple after the fruit, right? But now, <laughs> app but now Apple is like, everybody thinks of Apple, MacBooks, iPods. 
So it's very, it's very tricky <laughs> name for children. There are names like cars, Mercedes. Merce Mercedes, yeah. yeah, Mercedes. It's Spanish. It's also it's used in Spanish. But it's, a, but it's a very common uh, name in in Spanish. Mercedes is the name yeah. of Mercedes. Yeah, Mercedes um, is actually. Yeah, go yeah. ahead, Abdullah. No, it's okay. I want to say the same. Yeah, it's a common name in Spanish. It's actually yeah. a pretty common name here in North America as well. It's predominantly uh, popular in the African American communities. So a lot of girls, you'll find them named uh, Mercedes. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, what, what what are some other popular? I don't know. Would you name your son Volkswagen? I don't know. <laughs> it's like, wait, wait. If, I, you know, if I tell yeah. you, if I tell you one person that I know, you will laugh. Okay, tell us a person you know, David. Armando. Bronca, Armando. Segura. <laughs> oh, write that down. Write that down in the chat box. What does it mean? <laughs> what, what is, I'll, put what is, what is, I'll put it in, <laughs> in Google. Okay, uh, David's going to put it in Google. I'll, I'll transfer it to Verbling Chat so everybody can see. Okay, so let's... Uh, so let's let's go on. I, I don't think there's any other questions in, from Argentina. I mean, it's pretty pretty straightforward. So let's move on to Brazil. Journal. I'll actually get you to read the first paragraph of Brazil as well. Okay. Thank you. Oh, second. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, when I got married, I changed my name. Uh, it used to be a common practice in Brazil to change your maiden name. Uh, keeping your father's surname and adding your husband's last name. So instead of Carla Parenta Arena, mm -hmm. I am now Carla Arena de Aguina. However, the women have the option to keep their names or make the change. Perfect. Thank you, Jarno. And David. You're welcome. Oh. All right. So David has posted. So David, now you have to tell us what this name means. ABS. It's a long name. I'm posting well, it here. The Armando is mm -hmm. arm, Arma. It's Arma. Okay. It's what? Arma. Arma. I have no the idea what Bronca is mm -hmm. people when they are shouting and they are fighting. Okay. That okay. is Bronca. Okay. So and quarrel. Segura, mm -hmm. And Segura is when you're security. When you're security? Okay, so fighting security. Oh my goodness. Like, it's a sure fight. It's mean, mean way to name your children. It's like you, you represent fight and violence and turmoil in society. Yeah, Jarno's saying, Jarno saying it's scary. A quarrel. Can anybody tell me what a quarrel is? Argument, argue. Yeah, and a heated argument that can become physical. So if I'm like fighting with someone verbally, I'm yelling at them, it's yeah. possible that I can start, like, we can get into a physical altercation. That's called a quarrel. Okay? So yeah. this person's name is that of a quarrel. I thought it was squirrel. No, it's quarrel. Not That's squirrel. Squirrel. Not squirrel? No, no, no not squirrel. <laughs> not squirrel. Have to be careful. Let's, yeah. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Thank you, Jarno. Le next, let's get Shirana. Shirana, can I get you to read all the way till the end of, uh, till the end of Brazil? Uh, yes, wait, wait. Yes, uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, as for the choice of our kids' names, there are no rules. Some parents prefer to have a compound name like uh, Joao Carlos, Luis Wilhelme, Maria Eduarda, while others keep it simple. In my case, we chose uh, the name of our kids based more on how it sounded than any specific reason. Eduardo and Caio were our choices. We also considered the fact that these names couldn't cause any embarrassment at school for them and would be more easily pronounced in different parts of the world. However, there are some parents who will name their children in homage to their parents or grandparents. And some even like the idea of putting their my kids' name the same as the father's adding the word junior to their surnames. So if the father is called Marco, the kid would be Marco Junior. And there are many cases in Brazil with funny stories. Parents wanted to give their kids fancy foreign names, but when they got to the notary public to make the birth certificate of the kids, the not notarial just thought it wrong. So instead of 
Michael, we have Michael for William, we have Ilya. Oh uh, my god, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awkward situations just for the sake of being different or trying to go beyond our cultural tradition. Perfect. Thank you so much, Farana. All right. So choice of naming kids. There's no rules. People just name their kids what they like, right? Um, so based on the, the name them, based on how they sound, and not any specific reason. Um, there, there's a word here. Perfect. Okay. So, however, there are some parents who will name their children in homage to their parents or grandparents. What does this mean? Uh, how much is it? Something to do with respect, maybe? Yeah. Exactly. But, it has something to do with respect. You're right. Go ahead. But um, uh, I forgot it. It's um, to show respect to another person or something like that, no? Yeah, to show, it's basically exactly what you're saying, to show respect or dedication to something else. So okay. for example, if you name your child after your own father, basically what you're saying is, Dad, I respect you so much, you have played such a big role in my life, I am going to name my kid after you. Okay? okay. So you, in, in dedication, in respect to your parents, you name your children the same thing. Would to anybody do traditions? To continue traditions, exactly. Would anybody do that? Would it, would you name your child after your mother or your father? I don't know. My name is uh, is my grandfather. Okay, so your parents named you in homage to your grandfather. So Rahim, yeah. now you know you're named in homage to your grandfather. I yeah. personally, I personally would not name my kids after my parents because I think it would be weird, right? Like, I don't know. I don't want to call my my kid what my dad is called, you know? It's like, oh, that, that's strange. <laughs> it's like, but for a lot of people, a lot of people do that. So in homage to their parents, in honor, in honor of their parents, in respect to their parents. Okay? In and this some is families, it, sorry. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Blanc. Uh, in some families, they call uh, John the first, John the second, John the third. That's exactly. Very, I don't know. Yeah. Also John like Junior. Fifteen. Junior. Yeah, Junior. Is anybody? Is anybody? Does anybody use that? Is anybody like whatever? John Junior. No. No. Not in Mexico. So, okay, not in Mexico. So okay, so if your name was John, and then you named your son John, so he'd be John Junior, right? And then your grandson was.